So here we go. We're back on AVP from 2010. This is going to be one of the last few matches I have in 2021. All right. So we are playing a species death match on the jungle map. The jungle map is the smallest map in the entire game. And uh, if you got like more than nine players, it's going to be very chaotic. So lucky for me that I found a server with a lot of people today. All right, so let's get on with the match. Ooh, he got blasted. Uh, let's jump up here and check out the bottom area of the Spart Pit. Ah, there's a Xenomorph right here. Uh, missed. We'll block, counter, then hit him with the spear. He's done. Ooh, I flinched from someone's uh, smart disc behind me. So we got a Marine over here on the right side. Uh, you go that way, I'll go to the right side. Oh, he got destroyed by a shoulder cannon shot. All right, so let's jump up here. Um, let's see, we got two Xenomorphs. I will try to help you, it might be too late. Yeah, it was too late. Whoa, 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 let me get out of here. Me, whoa, damn. <laughs> wow, 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 okay. Predators die really fast in this game. Even uh, when they're shot after like, what, two seconds or less from a pulse rifle, they're done, man. So it's a very fast paced, chaotic gameplay with quick deaths. Um, not on par with the uh, classic AVP from uh, 2000 or well, 1999, but uh, the one released on Steam was called Classic 2000. But uh, that one, everyone dies really quick. But this one is uh, kind of like that, but it's got some melee mechanics and uh, a counter system and a grappling system, which is pretty cool. Let me get the Xenomorph off me. There we go. Destroyed. Oh, we've got some candles on here. Uh, let's see here. We'll check over here. And yes, we got one. I see two. And whoa, damn, you saw me really quick. Nice shot. Nice. Let's uh, respawn. Right here. We are good to go. So, um, off the top of my head, I can't remember exactly when the last time I played this online for the channel. It could have been two months ago, I think. Because um, for the past month or two, I have been playing more uh, Predator Concrete Jungle and also Alien vs. Predator 2. So, I thought, let's try to find some matches on this game before the end of the year. And we just happened to find a lobby full of people. So, why not? We'll play a match here. Got you, right in the back. Oh, those stealth kills are nice. And I'm done. <laughs> those stealth kills, man. And the finishing moves from the front, they're brutal. They're really cool, but I mean, you're not invincible during those animations. Uh, unlike in Doom Eternal, where you are. But in this game, you're very vulnerable. So uh, the finishing moves and stealth kills are very optional. But uh, it's a good way to guarantee a kill if the enemy is low enough health or if you grab him from behind with a stealth kill. It's guaranteed. Let's see here. Okay. We're back up here above the Sparta pit. Oh, there's an alien. You're not coming. Okay. I will just run this way and I'll jump back up here. Oh, there's a Marine. We'll dodge him. We'll heal. Let's go back over here. So yeah, I am playing this on Steam on PC. I no longer play it on Xbox. I mean, it's been like, what, four years? since I got this game on uh, Steam back in 2017 and I have not looked back. Uh, I did try the, um, wow, the, uh, I did try the console version, uh, I think maybe a month ago and like the frame rate is capped, I think what to 30 FPS, it plays a lot slower and choppier than the PC version. So I can't go back, I can't. There is no reason to go back to the console version. It's also harder to find people because uh, on PC you got dedicated servers and you have uh, the option to join a match that has already started, so which makes it a lot easier to find players. Uh, but on the console version, they do not have dedicated servers and they also do not have join session in progress. So that means on console, when the match has started, no one is going to see your match available. It taken off the list and they cannot join so yeah that's too bad for console players but uh, whoa I got uh, knocked down by I think that was a focus attack by the alien I think so maybe in the back I think so yeah should have been that 
It's been a really long time since I actually played as the human characters, the colonial marines, and also uh, the aliens. I just don't really go back to them. Uh, because it's hard enough to find a lobby full of a lot of people in this game on PC. It is easier than console, but still, when you do find one, it's kind of rare. But uh, as for AVP Classic 2000, there's like nobody online. That's a whole different story. So, I do play all three AVP games on PC, um, but the least one I play is AVP Classic because it's just so hard to find people on there because it's basically peer-to-peer. -peer. But uh, the funny thing is that AVP Classic has the option to join a session in progress for such an old game in uh, 1999. It's got that option built into it, so that's pretty good. But at the same time, I mean, it's such an old game and it pretty much plays like Quake that, uh, you know, unless you want a like, Quake clone, then hop on that game, but uh, AVP 2 and also AVP 2010 play a little bit different. Alright, so let's see. Uh, can I get the... Because uh, I'd love to use the combi stick or the spear in this weapon. It's throwable and it's a one-hit kill. However, I think in multiplayer, the alien's tail does not receive any damage because I have hit aliens in the tail with a spear before and they just flinch like nothing happened, so... I believe that is the one exception for the combi stick not doing a one hit kill in multiplayer. But anyways, alright, so we got a predator down there. I usually go up here looking for the uh, combi stick. And I missed him. That's so weird, I believe that's lag because even though we are on dedicated servers, there's some delay sometimes, but uh, it's better than peer to peer hosting, that's for sure. Yeah, but sometimes I notice that when I try to punch someone with my wrist blades, like, they're in my face right away, like, you know, a few inches away. And you would think that the shot would actually confirm and actually land on their body, but it goes through them and doesn't register. So sometimes that is annoying, but, you know, what can you do? It's online play. Yeah, here we go. There's two of them. I get this one. There we go. I'll get this guy. Whoa, whoa, what the heck? Dude, I was aiming for the other one and, like, the auto-aim locked onto the one in front. Yeah, there is auto-aim in this game with melee. There is, yeah. It's kind of strange. But I guess it's a way to kind of uh, make melee a little bit easier in some way. And yeah, I'm done. That shotgun really hurt. Shotgun is really strong in this game for multiplayer. Like, the secondary fire is all you need. Like, one shot with a secondary blast will take down a predator or an alien. If it does not, and they survive, they are either knocked down or they're flinching, recovering from the first shot, and then you just finish them off. Shotgun is like strong. Just like the sniper rifle in this game. Smart gun is pretty good. It's easy to use, but you're forced to walk because it is a two-handed weapon. And goddamn! <laughs> oh, those e-grabs. Those stealth kills. It's fine. It's part of the game. I think there was a mod, uh, or someone showed me a video many, many years ago, someone made a mod for the game where uh, you can automatically um, get out of these uh, stealth kills from behind. I tried to find it or look it up, but I could not find it. I don't know where I saw it, but it was many, many years ago, and I thought it was a really cool idea for a mod for the game. Like, there are mods in this game that are really cool that make it better, and there's others that are far worse that are kind of, like, pointless. It's like, you know, why'd you even make that? So, I think modding is really good on PC because it can enhance the gameplay, add new features, um, new skins, new sound packs, you know, to make it more fun. Fun stuff is good. But, uh, yeah, anyways. I always wondered why Rebellion chose to max out this game's level cap at 43. It was such an odd number. I still don't know why they chose that number. Why 43? Why not 45 or, or 50? And I wish they would have increased the um, level cap a little bit higher. Maybe add more skins because the game's DLC content ended very fast. Like within a year, there were only two map packs and then they were done. That's it. They were gone, man. And I believe uh, the last balance patch was only on PC. So the console version on Xbox 360 and um, PlayStation 3 did not get the final balance patch. They were left with... Uh, you know, whatever they had before that. So, anyways. Alright, let me see. Can I get him? Nope. I probably missed him with the uh, combi stick as I threw it. Uh, there's an alien here. Let me try to help you. There we go. 
I did my job. <laughs> the Marine here. That's nice. There we go. You knock him down. I finish him off. There's an alien. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, I missed. Wow. I Yeah, I totally screwed that up. I really screwed that up right there. So, yeah. Um, I remember there was a few other AVP games that I never got to play. Like, for example, uh, Predators, the mobile game released in 2010. There was also uh, AVP Requiem, another mobile game in 2010 as well. And AVP Evolution in 2013. But some older games that I never heard of until recently were Predator the Duel back in 2007. And in 2004, there was AVP the Superscape game. Now that game and Predator the Duel were both kind of small sprite-based side-scrollers. Kind of like Alien 3 on Super Nintendo. But uh, yeah, I've always wanted to play Predators from 2010, AVP Requiem from 2010, and AVP Evolution from 2013. But because they are mobile games on a different platform that I don't have access to, I never got to play them. So that's too bad. I just wish, like... They brought those games as downloadable arcade games on Steam or Xbox or the PlayStation Store, etc. I mean, why not? So, yeah. That's too bad. I missed out on a couple of games in the past, so... Uh, anyways, yeah. Surprisingly, I mean, people still play this game from 2010, you know, 11 years later. Still. I mean, I'll hop onto this game like every year, you know, maybe once a month or once every two months. I'll have a look and see if I can find some servers with... Uh, people in there and uh, yeah there are still people playing this game and also AVP too surprisingly yeah I mean there is a good amount of uh, people that still want to play these games but of course you have those that just are into the novels the comic books or the movies and don't really want to play the games the games are highly competitive I'll put it that way yeah you gotta go super sweaty in these game modes especially uh, species deathmatch I never play mixed species because I get lost on who's my team and who isn't so yeah anyways so yeah we are still here on uh, jungle map the smallest one in the entire game um, let me see uh, there's a predator and we are gonna play the entire match yeah the entire match in one long video you got destroyed you know what the sad thing about this game is uh, aside that the DLC only went as far as two map packs like the DLCs themselves did not sell too well on any platform I mean I had them both on Xbox 360 and then when I got this game on Steam I purchased both of them right away just to have them just in case and I think on PC I've only run into one or two servers in a couple of years that are running the map packs I guess because they believe that most of the community does not have access to it or doesn't want to buy it why not? It's it's a low price. Oops, why not? I mean, it's a game I still play, so I'll support it. Why not? You know, that's my answer. If you like the game, then just buy the DLC. However, on Predator Hunting Grounds, I do not buy every DLC. No, I did not buy the Valkyrie or the Samurai. And I believe there was something else. Um, I did not buy Dante and I did not buy Isabel. Uh, I can't remember if there are any other Predators on that game that I did not buy. But I'll buy what I like. Yeah. But for this game, there's only two map packs. So, I mean, that's about it. Why not? Let's see. Now, Steam is having a very big sale for the next couple of days. I believe until January 5th. And I'm deciding, should I buy Aliens, Colonial Marines, and replay the campaign on PC? Because uh, when I got it back in 2013, the uh, special, what is it, collector's edition? The one that came with the, um, the little toy power loader? That one. Uh, I think it's the collector's edition. Yeah, so when I got that game, of course, I was one of the many people that was disappointed <laughs> on launch. Oh my goodness, I just, I couldn't believe it. I still remember my initial experience when I went in there and... I hooked up with like a bunch of random people and asked them, how's the campaign? And they were telling me, ah, it's not that great. The game is overall not optimized. It's not that good. Uh, play it once and you should be done. And that was pretty much how I felt after one campaign playthrough. Played it once and never again. It's just, it was an unfortunate demise for a very promising title. We'll put it that way. 
But after playing um, Aliens Fireteam Elite for such a long time since it was released in August, I thought, should I give Colonial Marines a second chance? Because I did give a second chance towards Predator uh, Hunting Grounds and it turned out fine. I actually liked the game. Um, so I'm thinking about it. But I watched some videos on the playthrough and I'm like, I don't know, man. It's just something about Colonial Marines that really doesn't go well with me. But uh, for the other Aliens vs Predator video games, yeah, I kind of went back to AVP2 and I still kept it installed and I hop on that uh, maybe once a week, I'll check, twice if I got time. Nice. I'm telling you, for 2010, the graphics in this game, the character models, the detail on the textures look good. The animations, the sounds are really good for 2010. And when you compare it to 2013's abysmal catastrophe that is Aliens Colonial Marines, there's a huge difference. Yeah, a huge difference in quality. You can tell Rebellion put a lot of work into this game. Even though the campaigns were a bit short and there wasn't much DLC content afterwards, you can tell the initial work they put into the base game was really good. They put a lot of work into it. And it doesn't look bad. For 2010, the graphics look damn good. But uh, yeah, Aliens, Colonial Marines in 2013, that's, yeah, that was a big disappointment for a lot of us, yeah. Press F to pay respects to Colonial Marines, that's too bad. However, Alien Isolation was a fantastic game. That was pretty much um, a like um, survival horror game, not based off gun gameplay, more like on stealth and avoiding the alien. That was awesome. That was a combination of Outlast with an alien, which was a great idea. And a lot of fans are requesting a sequel, like a proper sequel of a video game to that game. Not Aliens Blackout, not that, no, not that game. But yeah, I agree with them. It was a great game. I believe uh, part of the team that made uh, Alien Isolation has now disbanded and gone to do other projects for other companies. That's what I heard. I'm not sure how true that is, but maybe that's why there's no sequel to that game. Normally what I do with matches in this game is I cut it off around, what, 10 to 15 minutes, but, uh, you know, I'm not sure if I'll get another match uh, by the end of the year, but uh, I thought, okay, I got one now. We'll just, you know, play the entire match, whatever, all the way through. So anyways, let's see. We are back on this side. Uh, the shoulder cannon is there, and no, there's someone guarding it, and I'm pretty much done. One shotgun blast. Dude, predators are so weak. They're so weak in this game. You really gotta move. It's a very um, twitchy, fast movement kind of game. It's not that slow, so you really gotta move very fast. And the wrist blades are decent, but up against someone who's using a shotgun and even a sniper rifle, like you're gonna get screwed, man. The shotgun messes you up and the sniper makes you flinch on every shot and you're pretty much finished after one shot. So yeah, I'm going to wait here for a bit. I'll be a little bit patient. I kind of want to stalk someone and just take him out with a shoulder cannon for once. There's one. Boom. Finish him off. He's done. We'll wait for one more target and then we'll move on. Oh, there's one to the right, but... I think someone else has him. Yeah. Oh, I see you. You're behind the tree branch right there. Let's see. Oh, there's one. Oh, that's the predator. Oh, there's an alien. And now oh, you got him. Oh, there's one. One shot and then two shots. Oh, jump. I bet you if I took one more bullet or two, I would have died so fast from pulse rifle damage. Wow. Okay. Nice shot or was that an alien I don't know what hit me so even though we had uh, what AVP Requiem in 2010 and AVP Evolution in 2013 both of them were mobile games why haven't we had a proper PC or console game like a big release in 11 years why are they messing around with like these very small mobile based games that um, pretty much separate the community oh nice those finishing moves man they're so awesome I love the finishing move in this game. They're so brutal. Right in the eyes. He didn't see that coming. And I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. Look at that. 
Nice. It's fine. When you're max level at 43, you pretty much have no reason to go on kill streaks and try to get a massive amount of XP. It's just play for fun, get kills however you want, and be done with it, and that's it. And move on. That's pretty much it. Let me get this guy. Got you. We'll jump down. Oh, I got hit by something. Whoa. Nice backup. Thank you for saving me. And but what the heck? Yo, a glitch. Weird. <laughs> Let me get this guy here. Got you. That alien was frozen in time. Look at that, he's still there. Can I get you? There we go, got you. We'll jump back here above the Sparta pit. There's an alien. Let me try to help you. There we go. Whoa, 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 whoa. Let's move. Move, move, move. I saw gunfire. We're going to heal. Because I have no idea how much health I have. Look at this. Nice. <laughs> got bodies on the floor. It's an alien. Oh, let me come and help you. Oh. Whoa, 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 there's two of them. This ain't good. This ain't good. This ain't good. This ain't good. I get one. Get one. Get one. No, 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 no. Wow. I still got him? Wow, I beat him to the uh, heavy attack animation. So yeah, the stun times on the heavy attacks are not equalized. Even though I believe that one of the patches had said they did uh, make them both the same, but they're not. An alien tail on a human guarantees death. The stun time is longer for them to do a weak attack after the tail and the human cannot retaliate. However, a wrist blade heavy attack on a human still gives them like what half a second or a third of a second to press the fire button and if they got a shotgun they're gonna shoot you before you can even grab them or even like do a weak attack. They can still block afterwards which is so weird. I don't think they even uh, test that change out. Or if they did test it out, there wasn't much, you know, agreement on, yeah, should we keep it this low or or change it? But yeah, obviously uh, the Predators did get nerfed in the last update for this game many, many years ago. Like, what, a decade? Yeah. There was also something that I noticed in AVP Classic 2000 and also AVP 2, you could pick up the skulls of enemies that were on the floor. But in this game, they totally removed that feature and said if you want a skull, you've got to do a finishing move. Pretty much, yeah. There's also been some discussion about having an open world Predator game, I guess, similar to Skyrim. And you pretty much have like a character you start off with and then you level them up and you get more gear, get more XP, unlock features, unlock skills and abilities access to different weapons. That sounds like a good idea. I would like to try that because I believe something like that was not done before, at least on the scale of Skyrim. But I mean, I'm up for that. That sounds pretty cool. Yeah, why not? I mean, let's have something different for once instead of the normal arcade shooters like this. So why not? I would love like, you know, an RPG based Predator game, like a big game with a lot of content and like many hours to go through and lot of NPCs to talk to and and interact with you know a lot of stuff like that that would be great Skyrim plus Predator I believe I did see a mod like that before like I saw someone make a mod for Skyrim I believe with Predator but I didn't actually watch the entire video I kind of just heard about it but uh, yeah that's something I would actually jump on for yeah why not Skyrim plus Predator because if you look in the past, uh, we've had Predator Concrete Jungle, which kind of has that kind of similarity, but on a very small scale. I mean, you have a great story, great music, lots of levels to replay, different unlockable skins and weapons as you level up, and also challenges. Oh, that is so awesome. Look at that. Dude, those brutal finishing moves are so awesome in this game. Awesome. See, I was saying, I mean... Uh, Predator Concrete Jungle was pretty good, but we want something a lot bigger. Like a huge Predator game. But an open world game? Yeah, I would jump on board for that. Why not, man? Something different. And, whoa! I got so lucky, I'm in critical danger. Yeah, I gotta heal. Let me take out this guy first. He's not even playing, I think. Yeah, I gotta heal. There we go. So anyways. Yeah, I mean, uh, Alien Isolation was a very different game, and it was outstanding. It was a great, fantastic game. It was totally different. So, 
I am open to having a Predator game that is open world and has a huge amount of content. Why not? So, let's respawn and see where we appear. Ah, right below the Sparta pit. So the two weapons close to me here are the Smart Disc on the right side here. Up there, and the Combi Stick on the other pillar on the other side. So, uh, I try not to collect two or three weapons at the same time because you have an entire team of Predators that wants access to the weapons as well. And if you pick it up, it's not going to respawn if you're holding it. So you can't have like five Predators with using a shoulder cannon, each one. Yeah. So I'll pick up one weapon and kind of stick to it until I die and then maybe just go wrist blades for a while then pick up something else on the way. Pretty much I pick up whatever is close to me. But uh, since this map has, uh, I think, yeah, has one shoulder cannon. No, it has two. It has two locations for the shoulder cannon. One combi stick and one smart disc location. Yeah. But no mines. Yeah, there's no proximity mines on this level. I mean, you don't need it. The map is so small. I mean, you're going to find a target as soon as you spawn. Pretty much. Let's go over here. Yeah, there's no friendly fire in the game. I mean, you could enable it, but this server doesn't have it on. Let me try to throw a disc from here. Did I get him? Was that me or someone else? I couldn't see. Let's try again. Long range, smart disc. <laughs> oh, damn. Wow, the graphics, dude. The graphics. <laughs> I'm admiring the nice graphics on this game and the lighting too. It's really good. Well, we got a whole party right here. Look at this, dude. The whole town is here. <laughs> it's a goddamn town meeting. Like Hudson said in Aliens. I will let you advance forward first and then I'll finish off the Marine. Here we go. Whoa! This guy loves to use his weak attack. I'll just use heavy for that one. And let's heal up here. There's one below me. Let's jump over here. Oh! Oh, you got him. Oh, nice. Oh, good. Good stuff. Alright. I'll go this way. I'll jump above and you stay down below. You want the shoulder cannon? That's fine. I'll go blades until I die. Yeah. Whoa, what the heck? Oh, there's two aliens down here. There's... Oh! The focus attack with the Predator is so bad. After the nerf, it was so bad. And I say this every video. They nerfed it too much. They nerfed it too much. I mean, they also nerfed the alien's uh, wall tail, so it no longer stuns. It just flinches you a little bit. So yeah, there's no more wall tail stun ability in PC. But you can do it on console. Because they never got the final update balance patch. Man, what are we? We're on what? Run 28 minutes? Jeez. <laughs> this is a long match. It's a long damn match. Whoa! Wow, that was bad. That was a mistake. I should have stayed back where I uh, took down the previous Marine and just healed in the corner instead of jumping out in the open. That was a bad idea. Yeah, it's fine. Oh, there's one alien. I'll hit him just to make sure he's weak enough to guarantee the kill. Whoa, whoa, whoa watch out below. Below you. Oh, there's two of them. Uh, let's see. Can I get a smart disc? Oh, wow. Where did you jump from? Was it from the tree branch right there? Uh, nope. The plasma caster is gone. It's taken. At least the one in that location. Let me get this guy here. Oh, grabbed you. There we go. Come here. Right in the eyes. Oh. Oh, fantastic. Awesome, dude. Awesome. Whoa! There's two of them. Let me take out one. There's one. Help me. A block. Block. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. You are my savior. Alright. Let's break this. Although I should have done it a lot sooner. I mean, it's been 28 minutes and I finally even break a light. <laughs> I should have done that so long ago. Let's see. What's happening down here? This one here. Damn. Out of range. There we go. What's happening? Got you. Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa. Okay, chaos. Get out. There was too much going on over there. And there's one alien. I'm going to punch you in the back. Mess you up. I'll grab you. You finished him off. Thank you. I don't care about kill stealing. I don't need XP. I'm just playing for fun. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Alright. And we'll go up here. And I think we will pretty much finish it off. It's been, what, 30 minutes? Yeah. 
the match is pretty much done. So that is it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.